Hey everyone, Mama Micah here, and today I wanted to do an anime spotlight. This is where I tell you about an anime that I'm really excited about or that I really enjoyed watching, and I think you should check it out too. So today I wanted to tell you all about Rumbling Hearts, which is available on the Funimation app, which is how I watched it. Without giving away any spoilers at all, the basic plot is that it follows a boy named Takayuki, these are kids in high school, and his first girlfriend, Haruka. Haruka is a super sweet, mousy, shy girl, and her best friend Mitsuki is the star of the swim team. She's beautiful, she, you know, she's very popular. So the two of them are kind of an opposites attract type friendship. Um, so the real meat of the story comes when Haruka gets into an accident and she's left in a coma. During the coma, Takayuki starts dating her best friend Mitsuki. And so the real kind of guts of the story are what happens when Haruka wakes up from the coma. And that's what leaves you on the edge of your seat. That's what makes you keep watching. Who does Takayuki choose? Who is he going to continue a relationship with? Does he pick up where he left off with Haruka? Or does he value his relationship with Mitsuki enough to dump Haruka, who's just woken up from a coma? So that's where that leaves off. It is an addicting show. I was late to work a few times because I kept saying, oh, one more episode. You know, it was just really, really good and I couldn't stop watching it. My only con to this show is that some of the voice acting falls a little flat, like Microsoft Sam computer voice flat. And it's only one character, it's Takayuki. And it's not in every episode, but there's a few of his lines that are just bad and they're just delivered very poorly. The rest of the voice acting is phenomenal um, and along with you know the art it's a beautiful looking show very enjoyable to watch but there is just a few of those moments where his voice acting is just not the greatest but that's my only con for the whole show. Now the show is rated TV 14 by Funimation it earns that rating for sure. There's boobs and butts and there's, you know, alcohol abuse, you know, one of the characters is like an alcoholic, and then there's, you know, um, like cheating and stuff like that. So there's adult themes in this show. It's definitely not for kids. So this is definitely earns its rating of TV 14. Other than that, I can't really think of anything else to tell you guys about it. It's a really good show keeps you watching, keeps you interested, and I liked all of the characters. Um, they're developed well enough that you really do want to know what happens next. You want to know who Takayuki chooses, and you honestly, I couldn't decide what I wanted. Part of me says, of course I want him to date Haruka. It's his first girlfriend. She was in his horrific accident. They should be together. But then half of me says, but he was dating Mitsuki. Why should he dump her just to go back to the first girlfriend? I couldn't decide what I wanted. I was very satisfied with the ending. Overall, this show is beautifully wrapped up, um, has a very positive ending. It is definitely a romance, drama, slice of life type show. And it'll keep you entertained. If you decide to watch it, you'll get hooked within the first, you know, two, three episodes. You'll be hooked. Just give it a chance because it does open up a little bit slowly. It's only a 14 episode run. So it's a quick watch if you just want something, you know, to watch over your next holiday break or your next couple days off. You can finish this show in a weekend and be very happy that you did. So that is my anime spotlight and I hope to do another one soon. Like, comment, subscribe if you want to see more, and I'll see you next time. Bye!